Yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? What's going on the day after Christmas? I am here with another podcast for you guys. So we got lots and lots and lots to talk about. How was your, I ain't going to say Thanksgiving, how was your Christmas? How was your Christmas? I don't know. Y'all don't know? My Christmas was good. My Christmas was super duper good. What's going on, y'all? Lockout men in the truck on the 34. This podcast, this evening, the day after Christmas. Back to the money, back to the grind. What's going on, y'all? Oh, man, what's going on? Exactly. That's what I want to know. What is going on? I don't know. But I hope you guys can help me what's going on. There's a lot of stories that's going on. First, I would like to start off with another R.I.P., okay? This is a courtesy of CDL Life, man. Another, another one of us has perished. Uh, it was a trucker that was found dead in the cab during the winter storm on grapevine now this must be a street right here all right this must be it, it must be a street right here but um it says that uh california highway patrol is investigating the death of a truck driver that was found inside of his cab on the grapevine this morning the truck driver was found unresponsive in his truck around 8.30 a.m. Thursday by a tow truck driver on southbound I-5. Authorities responded and pronounced the truck driver dead. The causes of the driver's death has been uh, is still up under investigation. And the truck driver's identity has not been released. Unfortunately, these things happen. I mean, you know, they, by the looks of it, it don't look like it was foul play or anything like that. They're still investigating it, but it's unfortunate that one of our own has perished again. And um, RIP to, uh, to that driver. He's, uh, he's upstairs trucking alone in the in the highway of the of heaven highway uh that story comes by way of cdl life thank you cdl life for that story right there unfortunately you know we this this is this is a lonely job you know and if one of us should perish for whatever reason still nobody would not know but uh, luckily, he was found by this tow truck driver, and uh, and yeah. So, how was your Christmas? What 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 did you guys get for Christmas, man? What what did you guys get for Christmas? Did you guys get what y'all want? I know a lot of you wasn't able to make it home, and some of and some of you guys choose not to go home during Christmas anyway. Um, some of you guys decided to stay out until New Year's. And then y'all probably go and get your New Year's party on. You feel me? I know y'all going to get your New Year's party on. But still, some of you guys that was that was here uh, out during Christmas, thank you. I want to... I want to say thank you to you guys. I appreciate what you guys done and what you're still doing for, you know, making America great. Okay. I say America is great because of us truck drivers. Okay. Okay. We deliver goods every day. So we make America great. All right. Give us our respect. You feel me? Give us our respect out here. All right. All right, so this wasn't no respect right here. Unfortunately, this right here was was kind of mean spirited. You feel me? This right here, black man stabbed by a white man while applying for a job at a truck stop. Police says it's a hate crime. 
Now, don't, now listen, listen, let me tell you guys something. Don't come at me with, with, with these news titles, these news headlines, because there was a, a topic of a, uh, about a couple of months ago where it says white officer pulled a gun on a black deputy. And everybody in the comments started getting at me and talking about, yo, why race have to be, why race have to play a card? Why this? Why you had to title it that way? See, it is not my titles or headlines. These are the headlines that, these are the headlines that they're, that they're sending out. Black man stabbed by a white truck driver. Now, mind you, this was a truck driver. Let me bring up this right here. This the guy right here. This the guy. Let's uh, let's 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 hold on right quick. Hold on. I got I gotta find it. I, here it is. Here's the story right here. We're gonna uh we're gonna pull it up and uh, watch it. Said together. the attack came without warning or provocation, and they agree with Ontario police in a stabbing in that a stabbing that sent a North Carolina man to the ICU was in fact a hate crime. They say this man, 26 year old truck driver from Nebraska, Nolan Strauss committed the senseless act. It happened inside the Arby's at the pilot truck stop in Ontario. They say he attacked and stabbed 48 year old African American Ron L. Hughes in the neck and the back. Now they said, they said that in the, in the, in the story, in, in, in the first story, we're gonna take we're gonna take uh, this story comes from Transportation Nation, and of course I'm not gonna repeat what the newscaster said, but this guy, the black dude, was just in there minding his own business, waiting for somebody to talk to so he can, you know, get a job at Arby's. Arby's. You got to do what you got to do out here, bro. But he did not go there. He did not begin. Let me, let me rephrase it. He did not begin this day thinking that when he goes there, he going to end up in the hospital later on that evening. It says that Hughes was seeking of employment when he was attacked without provocation or communication. According to court records, Strauss began stabbing Hughes in the neck with a knife. Hughes attempted, attempted to fiend off Strauss, investigators say. Several employees intervened and tried to stop the attack without getting injured. All right. They say that Strauss, who is white, confessed that he attacked Hughes because he was black. And he intended to kill him. That's what I said. These, these truck drivers, man, you don't know what's going through our heads. It's best to leave us alone. You know what I'm saying? As much as I like to chop it up with some of these truck drivers, and believe me, I got lots of footage and I got lots of sound bites of truck drivers that's being mean. Like, you know, I walk up to a truck driver like, yo, bro, what's going on, fellow truck driver? How you doing? Uh, let me ask you a couple of questions about, uh, about you know, about yourself or about your job or about the company. And I get this, like, why you want to know? Or get the fuck away from me. Or, or I ain't got time to be bothered. You know what I'm saying? And I, hey. I back off and I leave them alone. I like, hey, you, you don't want to talk? Hey, it's cool. Now, there's some truck drivers that are willing to talk to you. You know, I got lots of that. You know, they want to talk to you, chop it up with you. Let You know, some drivers want to actually speak on their experience. And that's cool. That is, that's fucking awesome right there. But. The ones that don't want to be bothered, for real, for real, leave them alone, man. Don't even bother with them. You know, I know a lot of us say, yo, ask the drivers about how they feel about the company that they work for. Sometimes it's 
sometimes it just uh is is just not it's just not worth it to ask them how they feel about the company that they work for and this guy right here without provocation without communication he just jumped at the dude and he's a truck driver i'm not sure what he say. well wait 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 they say he drives for salem oregon based may trucking and has a history of mental illness he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder in 2016, but admitted that he hasn't been taking his prescribed medication. Let's see. Uh, let's see. What's this say right here? This pretty much says the same thing. But this, this, this story right here from The Root goes a little bit deeper. It says that Strauss, he will be charged with attempted murder, assault, and committing a biased crime. Fortunately, 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 Hughes, the truck or the guy that was that came in there just to get him a job, he survived. You know, he survived his tag. He's in stable condition up in Idaho. Now, this is a quote from the root. It says, unfortunately, we may have to add this to the list of black folks can't do. It says list of black folks can't can't do without getting harassed or assaulted by white people. We got uh, the barbecuing. We got the water or applying for a job at Arby's. Now, this isn't my quote this is the quote from the root if you guys don't believe me i'm about to i'm about to bring it up right here that's what it says from the root unfortunately we need to add this to the list of black people or black folks can't do without getting harassed assaulted by white people the barbecuing the selling water of course everybody know about the barbecue betty right here you guys know about that right you guys remember that back in the day, last year, barbecue Betty calling the police on black people because they was barbecuing in the in the park. Y'all remember that? And I don't know if y'all, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this. Uh, Permit Patty, white woman, calls the police on an eight-year-old uh, black girl selling water, says she was tired of the noise. Here it is, Patty. Right there. Y'all remember that. That was back up in uh, last year. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? I want you guys to leave your comments in the comments below about these stories that I'm bringing to you guys. Again, this is the day after the holiday, man. Are you guys ready to get back to that bag? Are you ready to get back to the bag? I just want to know, are you ready to get back? I am. I am. I, I yesterday I spent time with the family and got some much needed R N R. Yes. I'm talking about figuratively. Jersey Mama, I'm talking to you. You know. Just saying. That was much needed R and R. But anyway, what about you guys? What about you guys? So check it out. I, I need you guys' help. Uh I need you guys' help. I got um uh, I got an email. Let me see if I can bring it up. I got an email. I got an email from one of my uh, from one of my subscribers. Uh, newbie trucking. I I need I, I need you guys. I need you guys to to pay attention. Listen, listen. Help me out and see if you guys can help uh, help this young lady out right quick. I wish I can. Wish I can cut that part out though. Can I? Can I cut it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, no, wait, wait, no. Okay, well, anyway, here's the here's the email right quick. Here's the email. It says, hey, how you doing? I'm coming to you today because I have a situation, and I'm hoping you can help me out. Back up in February 2018, I was in a car accident in North Carolina and claimed I was at fault. This was not a serious accident. There was no bodily harm, no injuries, no hit and run. 
I spent a year and four months getting my CDL. I went through, I went through and back all, wait, I went through and back. All I wanted to do is work. I can't seem to find a company that would take me on. Do you know of a company that will take me with almost two years accident record? Well, look, as I as I sent you, I asked you if it was in your personal car and you answered back. Yes, it was in a personal car. So this wasn't this wasn't a, a, a semi truck situation because you have to when you fill out an application, these companies are requiring you to have at least one preventable, at least one to be qualified. All right. If you have more than one, then that's going to be a problem, okay? Now, there's a lot of second-chance trucking companies out here. Uh, Covenant, Swift, CRST, CR England. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of second-chance companies that will, that will bring you in and give you the opportunity to work. But there's not that many and they're only one and and they cutting it they they cutting it down 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 for real they cutting it down to the part that you can't have no more than one back then it was two in 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 maybe a a year or so or three years but they they cutting it down they're cutting it down us express comes to mind too but i want you guys in the comments you know to help this young lady out um what do you what do you guys suggest? What do you guys suggest? She's she's two years and she has an accident record. What do you guys suggest for her? You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments below. All right. All right. So let me see. Is there anything else? Oh, yes, there is. There is. There is. Yo, I told you there was a lot of stories today. There was a lot of stories today. How about how about this video right here? Now, this video. All right, I'm I'm saying. Whoops. No, we we don't need no sound. We don't need no sound on that. We definitely don't need no sound. All right. So, this video that I'm about to show you guys right quick is <laughs> It's crazy. All right. It's crazy. But I'm about to show it to you anyway. Hold on. Let's see if I can I can bring it up. Yep, there it is right there. This car right here. You see this car? Right here. Just chilling. You know. Let's see what this fool does. Mm-hmm. Boom. Whoop. <laughs> oh my God. You guys see that. You guys see that. Let's see that again. Now look, look. This is impatience at its best. You know what I'm saying? Impatience at its best. Instead of being patient so he can get the clearance. He gonna try and go around and and look and got clipped, and I'm not even sure that truck even felt it. I I doubt he I, I doubt the truck even know that a car ran into him. But still, that that was stupid. That 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 right there was just that right there was just stupid. You know, he's trying to he's trying to uh, trying to go around. And and just got his butt messed up, smashed. Now see, a lot of a lot of these guys that's coming out asking asking the same question that I just got finished asking, and it's a lot of guys that's coming into the Facebook group, pretty much asking the same question. 
My man right here says, I seriously need to go back over the road, but thanks to Prime and I mean Prime Inc. and other companies will not give me the chance. Yes, I made some mistakes. Yes, I regret them. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes from time to time. Have over a year of experience, nine months flatbed with Prime Inc., one month flatbed with Western Express, seven months drive-in with Laser Spot, currently working with. Preferred flatbed. What happened, though? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, what, what happened? Why why you think that these companies are not giving you a chance? You you had nine months with 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 Prime and a month with Western Express. Obviously something must have happened. I can't tell you because I don't know. It's it's too vague. Too vague. Alright, y'all. Listen, yo. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, watching me right quick. Thank you for joining me on my podcast right quick, man. I'm about to go ahead and edit up a little bit more because I am stuck here. I'm up here in Baltimore. Well, Baltimore? Well, I'm outside of Baltimore. I'm in Aberdeen, Maryland. All right. I got to – actually, I got to, I got to go ahead to make my way home. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my way home, y'all. So until then, until next time, until the next podcast, yo, I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. I am your host, Lockout Men. Thank you very much. You guys, until next time, you guys have a very blessed and happy new year. Let's get it for 2020. Peace.